Hi everybody, welcome back to In The Huddle. I'm Julian Kushner. If I'm wearing the same outfit as last episode, it's because I am. I'm pre-filming because I'm going out of town. So today we're going to talk about the big games this weekend. Well, big game. It's kind of the biggest game. But before you go, please subscribe below and like the link in the description box. And let's talk about the Super Bowl. So yes, yeah, spoiler alert, the big game this weekend is the biggest one, the Super Bowl. The superest of games. It's the Super Bowl, and it's going to be between the New England Patriots at 14-2 and versus the Atlanta Falcons at 11-5. and It is on the 5th. It's the Sunday, first Sunday in February, Super Bowl Sunday. I feel like y'all probably know this. It's going to be a long game because it's the national game. It's the Super Bowl. The commercials, the everything, Lady Gaga at halftime. It's all fun and games, and it really is a game. So let's talk about the actual matchup, what we have going on. So what's at stake is my last video, y'all learned about Deflategate. Tom Brady started off this season suspended. He had a four-game suspension, and then now he's he's free. And he led the team to a fantastic season after starting off with a four-game suspension. It's awesome, honestly an amazing story. Tom Brady is going for his fifth Super Bowl ring. Him and Bill Belichick kind of having this amazing duo. Bill Belichick, the coach of the Patriots, obviously, they have won four Super Bowls together, going for number five. Now on the flip side of this, the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons have never won a Super Bowl as a franchise. They've never won a Super Bowl. It's not like the Falcons are some super young team. They've been around for like 50 years. They have never won a Super Bowl. Every Super Bowl that the Patriots have won have been between Brady and Belichick. They kind of started this whole thing. So Patriots have four Super Bowls of all time. Falcons have none. Matt Ryan has no Super Bowl ring, the quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. He is most likely winning the MVP. I said it was between him and Aaron Rodgers. Well, Aaron Rodgers didn't hold up at his end of the deal. I think both of these teams are very talented. I think it's going to be a very good game. Both teams have really great, incredible offenses. I mean, I've said, I've raved about Tom Brady a billion times on here. I think he's one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest quarterback of all time. So he's fantastic. He can lead this offense to do whatever. He He's a magician with the ball. He's fantastic. Uh, Matt Ryan is also really good. I mean, really good. He has an amazing target in Julio Jones. This guy is... Man, he's good. He played at Alabama, so you already know he's like always been good. So yeah, he's a fantastic player. He really like torched the Green Bay defense. Like it was really kind of embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. So I think both of these offenses are gonna be so high powered. They both have great defenses as well. Like don't don't think this is just gonna be like an offensive game. Defenses are gonna really show up. It's gonna be really great. I don't know who I'm going for. I really don't. I think I'm gonna go for the Falcons because Dwight Howard, who's like my favorite basketball player ever is a Falcons fan, so I want him to be happy. So yeah, I think I'm going to go for the Falcons. I don't know who's going to win it. I really don't. I think either team could win it. I could. I think it could be like a last second Hail Mary. I think it could go to overtime. That'd be cool. But I think it's going to be a great game. I think this matchup is going to be fantastic. I think these teams are going to play their hearts out. I do think these are two deserving teams of being in the Super Bowl, even though I wanted the Packers. I think the Falcons do deserve to be there. I, I will say that. Obviously, the Patriots deserve to be there. Like, that's that's not a question. That's not a question. But the Falcons do deserve to be there. I think that they've really showed in the playoffs. Like, they mean business. They mean business. This is by no means some, like, walk in the park for the Patriots. I don't think Patriots fans are like, oh, yeah, we're for sure winning this. Like, this is not in the bag whatsoever. I think it's going to be a great game. A lot is on the line for the Falcons. Obviously, they've never won a Super Bowl ever. This is only the Falcons' second Super Bowl appearance. They were also in the Super Bowl in 1998 where they lost to the Denver Broncos. So this is like the redemption. Like, yes, they have not been back to the Super Bowl in almost 20 years. So that's pretty cool. You know, I think it's going to be exciting. I'm excited for both teams. You know, Brady, it's adding to legacy for the Falcons. It's beginning something. So you're kind of seeing, like, I'm not going to say it's the end of Brady's career, but, like, he's older. So it's, like, kind of, like, the end of a legacy and, like, the start of a new tradition maybe. Maybe a tradition of going to the Super Bowl for the Falcons? I don't know. I'm excited for it. I shouldn't even have to tell y'all to watch the Super Bowl. You should just, like, watch the Super Bowl because it's the Super Bowl. Going to be a great game. Really excited to see these two teams. Please watch out for Julio Jones on the Falcons. Like, you're, this guy, he's mean. Like, he's not, like, I'm sure he's, like, a great person, but he's mean on the field. He's mean to players. Julio Jones had, like, a 74-yard run against the Packers, and people were tweeting, like, Julio, they have families. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please enjoy the Super Bowl this weekend. It's going to be great. Just, just get ready to say goodbye to football. Sad. I'm going to miss you, football. I really will. All right, guys. I will see you next time.